I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and this is Fun With Photos. Do you wish you knew more about the camera settings on your iPhone or your Android phone? And how about making your photos look better after you've taken them with the editing tools that are available? Then there's organizing your lifetime of shut photos and sharing the ones that you want with friends and family. This Fun With Photos podcast is short 10-minute episodes meant to answer your questions about photos. Today's question is, is there an easy way to make my photos look more like paintings? I'm going to show you Prisma and be prepared for some real fun in this episode. It only takes one click to turn a picture like this car in Cuba into this that looks like a painting. Just a couple of clicks makes this horse look like a super horse. And I'm going to show you how we made our logo avatar, our faces in that circle, all using Prisma by Prisma Labs. It's free to start with. If you want all the possibilities, there are pay for versions. There is an iOS version. There's also an Android version. There is also a web version. Let me show you. I'm going to demonstrate using my iPad so that it has a little bit bigger screen to see. First, make sure you know what app I'm talking about. I'm going to go to the App Store search for Prisma, P-R-I-S-M-A. Think of a prism making beauty. And it's this one with just a little black triangle. I already have it, so I'm going to open And since I've already been using it, it shows you the pictures of I, I've used. Let me show you this flamingo one. It's always going to want you to upgrade to the paid version. I just keep tapping X. So I tapped on the flamingos, now I see them full screen. And down at the bottom are all my choices of the styles, the art, the artistic styles that can be applied. All you do is tap on a style. That one is cartoon. Eh. Let me hockey, I think I oh. Isn't isn't that kind of cool? I I like that. So I will save it. Now that has been saved as an ex as a new photo in my photo library. I could now share it, but I don't want to. I'm going to skip that. And I'm done with that picture. Once again, another say another ad comes up. I just keep tapping close. Let's play with this one of the Blue Ridge Mountains a little bit. And I'm going to skip over and go to Water Lily. Eh, I don't like that at all. How about hockey? Ooh, I kind of like that. Surf is one that I often like. Yes, that one is good. And save. Not now, thank you very much. Now, just because I liked that and I saved it doesn't mean that I can't go on and try more. And there are 700 plus styles. If I tap here for add more, I can see a bunch of things. I'll bet this kick scooter might be kind of good, and I will add two favorites. Notice that there are some that have a little lock on it. That means you must be paying for the premium version in order to have that. I'm going to try this one too, this blossom and the flora, any of the ones that were free. And now let's try those on the Blue Ridge Mountains. Kick scooter. Yeah, completely different effect. Let's try flora. And blossom. I think I will save that one. Good enough. I'm done with the Blue Ridge Mountains. And close. I'm going to look at this picture of Cuba. The red car in Cuba. And let's look at cartoon style. Kind of like that. I would call that more of a watercolor. Yeah, you never know what the names of these things mean. 
water lily. Ooh, that's a bit bizarre. But look at this. Let's say, oh, I think that could be interesting if it wasn't quite so much. The little paintbrush over here gives you a slider where you can back off all the way back to nothing and just apply that style by percentages. So that's, that's kind of an interesting painting there. I will apply that and I think I will save. Now I want to get that horse that I showed you in the beginning. There's the photo of the horse. Now these photos must be stored on this device. Just FYI. Add. There's the horse. I know that I like surf. I'm going to go straight to the surf. And yeah, that's what I wanted. But now to get the magic type of frame, tap on frame and there. So just two taps gives me a superhero horse. Apply and save. One more on the app. And that is this picture of me with the Tetons in the background. I'm going to try hockey. Ooh, <laughs> a bit much, but I kind of like it. It's interesting. Now watch this though. I have the choice. This little button right here is called layers and it will separate the background from the foreground and it will apply the effect to one or the other. So there I am in the cartoonish style with a photo background or I can make the background be the cartoonish style and me be normal. I think I like that. I'll tap save. Now since it can separate the foreground and the background, there's this other button here that will actually give you completely different backgrounds. You just tap them. And if you want to add your own background, you can tap the plus and find your own photo that you want in the background. And there are a bunch of them and you can just keep playing Look at all these. How about me on in a snow, on a snowy road? Apply and save. Notice it has put the background in the style. If I wanted to change that, I think I like it that way. Save. So where do these get saved? Well, this is an iPad, so it, they certainly got saved in the camera roll, which you can see with the Apple Photos. There are the ones I just made, but since I have Google Photos also installed here, it will see those same photos. So here are the photos I just made. I just think that is so much fun. Now let me show you just a little bit of Prisma on the web. Prisma-ai.com slash Prisma. And then you might, you have to scroll down a bit to see try Prisma for the web. And I already uploaded this image. You do that by clicking open new image and it has to be on your computer. So that's the difference here. Makes sense. So I opened up this image and they change these styles all the time. So it can take a while to find the one you like. But I think this one called Puma is the best. Now I save that image and I save it on my computer in some place, in some folder where I know where it is. Once I got that picture cropped into a circle, and there's several tools that'll do that, we use it everywhere on our promotional materials. And it all started from just having fun with my photos using Prisma.